Hi Libra! Welcome to my channel and my space. For those of you who are new, my name is Raquel. For those of you who are returning, thank you so, so much for supporting my channel and my videos and thank you so much for coming back. This is a um, February love reading as promised. So this will go for Libra Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Now, if this does not resonate with you because these are the most needed messages for Libra, please go check out your other sign videos located here on my channel. Um, you can put yourself wherever you resonate best in the story. And all my other disclaimers are located in the description box below. All right, so let's get on with it. I'm going to pull your love energy for this month of February. Spirit, my guides, what is Libra's love energy? That came out pretty quick. We've got strategy. So some of you might be in situations where you're strategizing your love. You're strategizing um, how to make your relationships better, how to move forward with certain relationships, or how to um, release toxic connections is what I'm getting. A lot of you um, might be writing down your feelings um, in journals or diaries. I know that's so specific, but that's what I'm seeing with the feather and journal on there. Um, some of you who have been lost in love and not and not knowing where to go next with love or not knowing if love is going to come in for you. It's like you feel like you're lost. Um, it looks like you're going to be regaining your compass when it comes to those you love this month. So let's break this down further with the tarot. Guides. Guides of Libra. My guides, my soul family. What is the strategy about for Libra? Libra, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus when it comes to love for February 2020. Please and thank you, my soul family. One more shuffle and then I'll cut. Let's see what we got here. We have Angel de la Nuit. Now, what this angel speaks about, she speaks about um, coming out of the darkness and into the light. When it is involved in a love situation, whatever hardships you might have faced in the past with love, it's like those are being lifted now. It is being, you are being brought out of the darkness. You are proper, you are gaining your moral, you are gaining your compass here. All right. Some of you are becoming more strategized in how you approach love, how you deal with love. Um, it could be an Aries involved or a Cancer, but it's like you're controlling your emotions better now. Um, happier times are up ahead and you're going to receive some type of communication about changing maybe the pace that you're going at um, within a love situation. You could be involved with the Scorpio, a Sagittarius or a Capricorn because it looks like you're really working hard. Um, you're getting down to brass tacks and then there's your energy Libra. There's your energy at the bottom of the deck. So I feel like this, um, what's coming for you in love, you finally coming out of that darkness, finding the light, gaining your compass in love this this um, month of February. It's like you're taking back control of your life and control of your emotions here. You're taking back control of your emotions. Um Yeah, so it looks it looks really good for you, Libra. It really does. Um, we've got the Seven of Pentacles at the beginning of the month. 
So this is where that strategy, where that analyzing, you're analyzing your friend groups, really seeing who fits and who doesn't. All right, maybe you're analyzing your partner. In the middle of February, we've got Hermit. So you're really taking that time to yourself, um, going within, finding your inner light. Um, you know, and for some of you, this is because you have come, you are coming out of the darkness. You are going, you're going into a lighter time within a love situation. And it's like you found yourself, you found your inner light. You could be involved with the Virgo here. Towards the end of February, we get the Nine of Cups. So fulfillment coming in, happy, being inside your element, being happy with yourself and happy with those that you have in your world. Um, <laughs> underneath the Seven of Pentacles, we have the world. So yeah, you're definitely analyzing your world here. You're really thinking about what belongs in it, what doesn't. This is where that strategy comes in. It's like, who do I need to cut? Who can stay? Who gives me that emotional fulfillment that I need? And I feel like that's what you're doing at the beginning of February. And, you know, it's sitting catty. The world is sitting catty corner to the hermit. So it's like your inner light is being shined all throughout the rest of February. When it comes from the middle of February, it's like your world changes somehow in the middle of February. Some of you might be going on your own because you might be making those harsh cuts. Others of you, it's like, you're still in your relationships, but it's like now you're really focusing on what you want, what you need, how your world can change. We've got the King of Swords clarifying the Hermit. So this could be another air sign, an Aquarius that you're involved with, somebody that's a Virgo Aquarius. Um, but more importantly, this could be your energy. You're very in control of your thoughts. You're very in control of um, of who you want to be and who you need to be grow going forward. Because if you are not secure with the love of yourself, it's really hard to give pure love to other people. So I feel like that's what you're coming into the, in this month of February. We've got the Six of Swords underneath the Nine of Cups. And there, this is significant because this is you moving on to a more emotional, fulfilling, um, loving relationships. It's you moving on from the relationships that, oh, thank you, Spirit. Okay, so going back to the Hermit and the Knight and the King of um, Swords, the King of Swords, um, knows who his enemies are. And they're telling me that you, Libra, are going to know who your enemies are in the middle of February. And it's like you're making those cuts. You're moving away from those people that are hindering you in love or not, not loving the true you, only using the true you. It's like you're cutting out those people and you're closely strategizing on how to get out of the darkness, how to get out of a controlling situation for some of you. And you're moving on to a, at the end of February, moving on towards more emotional fulfillment is what I'm getting. So let's break it down with the Lenormand. I'm going to get a clarifier for each of these uh, six cards here. So um, the Seven of Pentacles and the World. What does this mean for Libra? Okay. So we've got the Seven of Pentacles. We've got the Fox from the Lenormand deck and the World here. Now what this is telling me is that there might be some trickery around your environment and around love. Um, in your world around the first, like, couple, the first weeks of February, like the beginning of February. There's some type of trickery. Somebody is trying to trick you. But with the Seven of Pentacles there and the world, what it's telling me, and I'm seeing that bird right here, I'm, I'm feeling like you're going to be able to spot it. You're going to be able to spot those who are trying to deceive you. It's like they can't get anything by you. So let's see what this Hermit and this King of Swords is about for you, Libra. Nobody is going to be able to trick you in the matters of love or manipulate you in the matters of love in February. That's what I'm feeling. 
Yeah, you can see we got the stars here. So we've got the hermit, we've got the king of swords, um, and then we've got the stars, okay? So what this is telling me is that it's some type of wish or some type of, it's like written in your stars for you to do this at this exact time, okay? It's about you getting your inner light back, your inner light back, because you are so much more than what you are getting credit for. So it's like you're going to be able to um, to spot, you're going to be able to spot um, those who are trying to deceive you or trying to trick you. It's because you know your inner light now. And it's this at this time in your destiny, because one in six is seven. So it's this time in your destiny for you to make those cuts, to move on, to um, to have a better, better people in your life that support you and love you for who, who you truly are. Okay, so let's see what the nine of cups and the six of swords is and i am so sorry there are a lot of dogs in my neighborhood and a mail truck just came by and dropped off a package and all the dogs in the neighborhood started barking so my dog started barking so sorry about that um you could be getting an unexpected expected gift don't let the don't let the gift from the loved one um i feel like somebody is going to try to buy your love, okay? And I feel like that is the trick. That is for um, some of you Libras out there. Um, I'm not sure who I'm specifically talking to, but they're going to try to buy their way back in. Do not let it, and I don't think you will because I think you're gonna be able to see it for what it is. So let's see what this Nine of Cups and the Six of Swords is about for you Libra. Spirit. My guys, what is the sign of cups and the six of swords about for Libra? Yeah, okay, so we got the letter in reverse. I feel like this is you cutting off communication with somebody. We've got the nine of cups and we've got the six of swords and then we've got the letter. So what this is telling me is that you're cutting off communication from those who bring you down, from those who do not give you emotional fulfillment, from those who do not respect or deserve you for for who you are. The, the people that don't respect you and don't love you, I feel like you're going to be cutting them out of your life. You're walking away towards more happier, emotional fulfillment here. Sorry, that's how it is. So this is influencing this. This is how I read it in the in the in in my spread. So the urge to move on, to become more happy, to become more emotionally fulfilled, to be with people who do emotionally fulfill you. So I feel like you're cutting off communication, communication from those who don't. Okay. But I feel like you're, you, you're strategizing about this on how the best, on how best to move on, on how best to go forward, but you are gaining your compass here. You are gaining your compass here. You are gaining the right way. You can see the right way out now. So Let's see what the love advice is. So spirit, my soul family, what is the love advice for Libra? They told me to keep on shuffling, so I'm going to keep on shuffling. I've already got one, but they told me to, to keep going. So they obviously got one more. give you love advice. Two more. All right, hold on. Okay. So the first one out is simple acts of kindness. Kindness energizes you and brings happiness to those around you. So those people that <laughs> aren't the best for you in love or whatever, uh, treat it with kindness. Especially if you're walking away from them, get, wish them love, wish them light, wish them luck, whatever, and then move on your merry way, okay? Because 
that's who you are. That's who your true inner person is, your inner spirit, all right? And you don't want to be untrue to that. Yes, they might have hurt you. And what is funny is I'm being drawn to the foxes, the foxes in here. Foxes are known tricksters, okay? Um, but do you see how she's got her back turned from the foxes and she's giving all this love and support to to the to the other animals that are around her that are and you see that these two foxes back here kind of looks like they're whispering to each other looking on at her in envy but she's being kind to all of them but she's got her back turned to the foxes so i feel like you need to turn your back towards the tricksters all right um Five is a challenging time. The number five is a challenging time. So it's something that's going to be hard for you to get over. It might be hard for you to break the tie, um, but it does look like you're getting control back. Look to your inner strengths, okay? You're stronger than you realize. Yeah, and this comes right in, I, I think of the hermit right here, mid-month. Mid-month, you're really going to need your inner strength because I feel like the beginning of the month, it's like, boom, we've got that trickster energy where they're taking advantage of your kindness. Um, you're not, I don't feel like you are seeing them as tricksters in the beginning, but I feel like your eyes are opening to it. And then it's like, boom, now you've got to trust your inner strength. All right. You've got to let your inner light shine. You've got to get rid of those who wish to dull or dim your inner light. Practice compassion. See things from a fresh perspective. Yeah, because I feel like these tricksters, these foxes that are in your life right now, I feel like you've been blinded by what their true intentions for you are, how they truly feel about you, their users. And um, it's like, I feel like towards the end of the month, it's like you come into realization about that. But it's like, now that you can see the bigger picture, you can understand why they're like that. And it helps you let them go even, even um, easier. It helps you let them go easier. All right. Well, those are all the messages that I'm getting for you, Libra. I hope this helps for your um, month of February. Just make sure you're cutting out those tricks tricksters okay because you deserve love and i do see love coming in for you towards the end of the month you gotta take control back okay well i if you did like this video please give it a like and if you want to see more content from me please give me a subscribe right down below and i will see you all in my next video until then take care libra bye